know that there are hundreds of thousands of research articles looking at alcohol intoxication, so what happens when you're drunk. And then most people, next day, wait until they think that they're sober and there's no alcohol left in their body, and they get in their car or they go to work. And this research actually indicates that that actually might not be the safe time. Actually, it might be that we're still impaired the next day, even after the alcohol has left our system. What we're finding is that some of the things that you might expect to happen with your thought processes in alcohol may continue throughout into the hangover period. So you might not be able to, if you're a student, say, um, attending an academic lecture, taking notes, you might not be able to remember uh, as well as you would do if you were sober. Um, if you're driving in a car and you have to keep your focus on the road or you have to react to a red light that's coming up, you might not be able to do it with um, as much efficiency as you would if you were sober. But also it has implications for uh, workplace safety or workplace productivity in fact. We know that billions of pounds are lost to people not turning up to work because they're hungover. But what actually happens if they turn up and they're still very hungover and they're very unproductive? So what really are the true costs of being hungover on the job?